Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of dismal Disney. We're going to talk about how Disney World is not for poor people. I just no. You, you just got the you just got the message. Disney World is not for poor people. Look, there's been a lot of talk about how expensive Disney is, and it's so funny because you think by now people would be used to the fact that, that Disney is unaffordable for, for most people, right? Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, we're going to have this discussion again. This is uh, via, I got to give a hat tip. I don't want to, but this is via Inside the Magic. And uh, they got it from TikTok. This guy put a TikTok out there just talking about how expensive it actually is. Right. So well, uh, before we get into any further. Before we get into any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. Guys, you get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Yeah, so this one's interesting because apparently he's used to going to Disneyland. And I will tell you, Disneyland tends to be more of a locals park or people yeah. that are close by. Yeah. So you you do have people go to the hotels, but they only have a couple hotels as a you know on property as compared to Walt Disney World. Everything's pretty close. You can walk to it at Disneyland, not the case of Walt Disney World. And I think that a lot of people just go for the day and then leave. Or just visit each park for a couple days and leave. Where Disney World, you're there for several days, and I think that it adds up a lot quicker, and things can become a lot more expensive at Walt Disney World than Disneyland. Yeah, Disney World is billed as being like a tourist uh, trap destination, whatever. It's a it's a luxury vacation. It's a week long, ideally a week long vacation. They want to keep you on property for a week. Disneyland, they know it's a locals park. They know a lot of people in Southern California just come in for the day or a day or two. They stay at off property hotels, you know, which are mm -hmm. considerably more affordable than staying on property. Mm -hmm. than, you know, same old Disney World. You can stay off property. There's lots of hotels. And the ones at Disney Springs, oftentimes the good neighbor ones will give you shuttle service and the same amenities the ones in the park do, but for a fraction of the price. But anyway, in this video, it's funny. This guy, he's talking about it. And they were, they're going to go to Disney World for Christmas vacation. All right? Yeah. And he's like, Disney's not for poor people. And he's talking about the video. Are you going to play the video? We're going to play the video. Okay. Yeah. So I'll let the video explain it, but it ends up at the end. He's just like, they haven't even got flights yet. And he's going to tell you how much it is up to that point. And okay. it's insane. I'm curious. Disneyland for me, Disneyland for me and Disneyland okay, here for we my go. wife are two separate things. My wife grew up rich. I grew up poor. Let me explain the difference to y'all. I've only ever been to Disneyland in California. My wife wants to take me to Disney World in Florida. Sounds Gosh, like you mean. That's us. For Christmas. <laughs> Who has this type of financial faith? Now, I can't tell if these expenses are normal for people Christmas, or if her man. family is just rich, but let me run down the expenses for y'all. Her mom says, be ready for about 10 grand for the hotel. We're still looking for something. 10 like grand for the hotel? Cheaper. Oh my God. Who the fuck are we staying with? How many how long are you staying? Stay at Disneyland Resort. We can stay at a Motel 6 and live our You can stay in Disney Come Springs. Yeah. I really didn't like the BMW. I really want the Range Rover this time. It's only $1,092, so we could definitely get that for like a week. Wait, for the <laughs> rental car? Yes. Oh, Miha, the tickets for a family of four is only $1,584. Why are you using words like only when that should be the price of rent? We haven't mm -hmm. even looked at plane tickets. Oh my God. Wants to buy them a little closer out. So far, just for tickets hotel don't do that don't. rental car we are at almost thirteen thousand uh -huh. dollars thirteen disneyland thousand i don't know the difference between disneyland and disney world but i can tell you there's not enough shit worth thirteen thousand fucking disney no <laughs> you're, 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 yeah He's no. 100 percent right yeah I mean. i'm sorry you shouldn't have to be spending ten thousand dollars for a hotel at disney world i'm not understanding are they on property? I mean, obviously on property, but I'm like, how long are they going? Because and are they going to like, you know, the uh, contemporary or something like that? Because That's what people are saying in the comments. They say it has to be like a Grand Floridian Floridian, yes. or something and like a villa. But um, it can get up there. I mean, I think our last trip and that that was God, it was probably eight thousand dollars, nine thousand dollars. I mean, it's 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 crazy. You can get a nice hotel three miles from Disney for seven thirty for six night. Uh, a six night stay, 10 K as well. Yeah, yeah. Go Disney Springs. You can, but again, this is probably her family uh, wanting to stay at the resorts. And they, mm -hmm. they always upsell you on the, the resorts. Um, no relation, by the way, Disney world cost me 4k for two people. It used to be like 25 K or three K for a family of four for a week at a value resort. Yeah. And, uh, and we, you can go to like the, the, um, yeah, the value resorts and things like that. You can even get a, I would say a moderate and it's not going to cost you anywhere near that much. They have to be going to the, the more expensive ones or they oh, have to be sure. going for a yeah. long period of time. Plus keep in mind, 
the Disney hotels and tickets are going to be much higher at Christmas time than they are other times of the year. So I'm sure that's playing into it because they do do an upcharge uh, for that. But your tickets, the hotel and the rental car is thirteen thousand dollars. You haven't bought tickets yet for the. I mean for the. Plane tickets. Oh, just, I'm like, dude. And do not wait. I mean, if you're going to Christmas, do not wait until like a week before to try to get one. You're not going to get tickets. Two, they're going to cost through the nose. Um, yeah, but I know even the um, even the value resorts now are are creeping up. Like Pop Century is creeping up. You know, it's it's it's. Uh, I mean, there is no short of living in Orlando and driving there and having an annual pass there there is no cheap way to do well, disney they haven't even counted food yet oh my god you better expect a lot more money depending because it sounds like this woman's gonna want sit downs yes well, we're gonna need to go to like cinderella's castle to the to the you know yep. the, the breakfast all the and all that I mean, so the, that you can figure there several hundred dollars each time because well depending on how many people i mean how many people did he say how many people it was uh, he, he said say. his family of four was that much i don't know if that includes her i don't know but, like, just us going to some of these places, it would be like, you know, there was four of us. It would be like four, three, four hundred dollars. Yeah. We had six the one time at, at uh, Space 220. And how much was that for Space 220? Was six of us? Space 220 was damn near five hundred dollars. Yeah. And it was shit food. It was absolute shit food. And so, we only yeah. did it because we were going to review it for the blog, for your blog, for piratesandprincesses.net. And I, I can honestly tell you, I would never eat there again. Mm -mm. The food was not good. The experience was kind of cool, but not worth that much money. Well, you can and go up and go to the good. bar and not have to take the menu they give you. You could do like more a la carte type stuff. I think you could do more a la carte type things that way. But yeah, $13,000, you should be able to do that with ticket, plane tickets for that. Yeah. Depend well, it depends on how many people are going to. Well, that's, I mean, I, when I was including the, the cost of the last trip we took, it, it was plane tickets. And that was, you know, for like six people. So. Yeah, the plane tickets were a big expense. I'm yeah, like, plane man. Ticket, yeah, airfare has gone up considerably. I mean, I mean I'd rather drive. It wasn't for the fact that this takes, well, one, I don't like to drive. It's a big pain in the ass. It's like at least Literally, 18. Literally, it's a pain in the ass. 18 hours at least for, for us. us. Is, yeah. Um, And then it takes like a day on each end. And sometimes we don't have the time for that. So flying makes more sense. But... Sometimes it's just not, it's just cost prohibitive to do so. Yeah. Now, God, I don't know. And then, then the thing is, is with, with uh, Disney world being the way that it is right now, uh, I don't know if you're going to be getting your, your best experience, you know, for that, that money. And uh, yeah, I would, I would, I would tell you to get Universal. Well, ironically, just yesterday, I, if you go out to my blog, we're talking about Genie Plus. Just yesterday, Genie Plus options were at a record, or pretty much as high as they were New Year's Eve. Oh my God. Okay, so you go down and it tells you this is Genie Plus is a big problem. A lot of people actually they say aren't even getting Genie Plus. I don't know how they're getting on rides though. They said that the cost between $29 and $39 per person. And it broke down to Magic Kingdom one day for a base ticket that day was $179 plus $39 because Magic Kingdom was $39. And if you do the model parks, it was $39. Obviously, the model park, if you're hopping, was a better deal. $282 per person plus tax. Hollywood Studios, it was $35 for Genie Plus and $174 for the day ticket. Epcot was $174 for the day ticket yesterday and $32 for Genie Plus per person. Oh my God. And then Animal Kingdom was $159 for the ticket for one day base and then $29 for the Genie Plus. So you're talking like a range between $188 to $218 per person to visit a theme park if you want to use Genie Plus. So so basically, I mean, here, here's where we're at with it. It used to be that you would you know pay your money, you'd get in, you'd get pretty much guaranteed get to ride on whatever you wanted to, even if you had to wait in line a while. But because of the way that they do things now, you're paying over $100 just to get into the park. Mm -hmm. But if you actually want to do anything, you're probably going to have to pay extra. Or you have to be really, really good at planning. You have to know the trends. Um, what I recommend, if you don't want to pay for Genie Plus, is if you get the um, wait times, you get the Disney, the Disney, what well, Disney World app, okay? It'll tell mm. you the wait times. So for like a couple weeks before your trip or whatever, a month before, more time the better. Certain times a day, start checking the wait times for attractions. And you'll see the pattern of how the crowds move and then go in the opposite direction. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much because everybody listens to to, uh, you know, all the, the people that give the tips online and it's the same people. And they're like, oh, yeah, do this first and then that first. It's just go the opposite. Go go counterclockwise. And uh, you do tend to, to have a better shot. I mean, we've walked on to Peter Pan's flight before. 
Yeah, well, you just have to know what you're doing. And also realize that if you go in the morning and then you hit late at night, that some it might be a long day, but take a break in the afternoon, you might have a better chance of getting on attractions because the crowds are thinner first thing in the morning and they're thinner in the evening. Um, also, if there's a, a holiday event that day, like a Mickey's Not So Scary or Very Merry Christmas Party in Magic Kingdom, go that day. Because if you go that day, a lot of people don't use their one park, unless you have a hopper. They, they want to go to, to, they want to spend their one day ticket on a park that's going to be open the entire day. I've literally been there on a park event or an event day at Magic Kingdom. And it was less crowded before the event started. And it was way worse when the event started. Yeah. So definitely, um, if you can go one of those days, you might not get as much time in the park. If you can buy a hopper and go someplace else the rest of the day, you might be better off. But the parks aren't going to be as crowded because people are going to avoid it. I, I just, I can't even... I never thought I would get to this place, but like in the last couple of years, I can't even justify the expense. I can't even. I know. I really probably need to go down there and do some work because it's my job. But I just, I think about trying to go down and the expense and I'm just like, I don't think, I don't think it's worth the expense for one. And two, the hassle and the flights are just such a big giant hassle. I'm wasting so much time. I get more done if I don't go, which, you know. Yeah, I mean that's that's true. It's just kind of like I do want to go again sometime, but it's just so I'm. It it is it is uh, part of part of our job, and uh, the pandemic basically made it. I mean, we actually went down during the pandemic, which is Mm -hmm. surreal. But like, the pandemic made it easier to quit certain habits, and that was that was one habit because we were down there all the time. And then the pandemic happened, and we drove down the one time because we didn't want to hop a flight, or they they weren't running flights or something, and uh, it was it was like dystopian. To mm-hmm. go, it was like early pandemic, and it was just like it was. It was so weird. weird. It was so weird. Um, but the flight was still full and everything. Yeah. And ironically, we didn't get COVID from th- from that. We got COVID. When we went down after the pandemic, which is a whole other story. Yeah. But um, if you want to save money and you really want to go, a couple things I would suggest to you: check hotels outside of the parks. Now you will have to pay for parking. Where if you're an in park guest, you they usually don't make you. Um, you also have to you know account for the fact you have to drive in and out okay but if you stay at disney springs a lot of times those hotels um are are a lot cheaper and they offer similar amenities including shuttle and sometimes they're a really really nice hotel for the price like Mm. uh, b resort and spa has suites and stuff that you'll pay way less for than if you stay on on property if you really want to stay on property which i prefer to do um, you can go to one of the value resorts. I don't rec. I know they're cheaper to go to All Star Music and All Star Sports and movies, but I would recommend Pop Century over those. Um, so you can go there. You can bring your own food with you. You can go to the Walmart that's nearby and get stuff. You can. The food's so big, you honestly can share it because it's usually hot and you don't want to eat a lot anyway. Um, trying to think what else. You know, have a plan of what attractions to go to, and you might spend less time in line, and you don't have to worry about Genie Plus. Yeah. Um, definitely consider splitting your trip in the morning into the evening and resting in the afternoon. I mean, I know it's harder if you have little kids. Well, it's easier that you get a, a nap, but like it might be harder to get to keep them going that long. Take a nap so you're not cranky. Actually, I would recommend it for adults too. I, I think that that actually works out because what what winds up happening is most people just start in the morning and then they just burn out by afternoon. Then they go back to the hotel and kick around and they might come back in for the fireworks or something. But a lot of people are, are done right. by like early, especially when it gets hot. You Ooh, know, rainy days are your friend. Yes. Rainy days are great. Everybody people leaves. avoids rainy days, avoid rainy days because yeah, they don't want to ruin the park. And sometimes rides, some rides are closed down for the rain. That's true. But a lot of them still run. And if you um, are at the park, especially Magic Kingdom, and it's a rainy day, you will get to do so much more because everybody leaves. Also, when you go, bring your own ponchos. Don't buy the ones at the park because you're going to pay out the nose for that stuff. If you can buy some souvenirs ahead, like even the bubble wands, we bought one for our daughter. She used it at the park and she never used it again. Plus, they're a nuisance. Don't get me started on bubble wands. You can get them for like five bucks at Aldi's. Mm. You know, I'm like... There's just a lot of different things. If you search, you can find deals. Buy gift cards to pay for your trip because a lot of places like you know Costco and Sam's offer you like something like eight dollars off of a hundred bucks or something, and that doesn't sound like a lot, but it adds up if you're you're buying a lot of gift cards to pay for your trip. Just make sure you're not buying Disney Plus gift cards oh and God, not yeah. Disney Parks gift cards. Yeah, that one woman she bought all the uh, the Disney Plus gift cards. I know like, what, $10, they did. Disney and... fixed it, but. So look, I'm just saying, there are lots of ways you can do it. It's still not going to be very affordable for many people. It's I'm yeah. not going to lie and tell you, oh, you can do this for like $2,000. Not likely. 
But we used there, to. I know that was we also used to. like I know. like uh, what 15, f- twelve fifteen years ago. Yeah. It's not likely. Um, Disney big Visa card. You can you can if you pay it off every month, you can earn points. You know towards Disney and stuff like that. There's lots of things you can do to make it more affordable. It's always going to be kind of a, a sticker shock situation. But there are lots of things you can do. There's lots of blogs out there that have lots of tips and information about things you can use. And I recommend it. Go check those out because there's a lot of interesting things. And it does change often. So, you know, keep checking those. Um, Check out Pirates and Princesses, even though we don't usually cover, like, deals other than what I'm mentioning to you now. So, You know, or, or, hear me out. Go someplace else. Yeah. You could take that money and you could pay cash for a new car. Or you could go to real Europe. Or you go to actual Europe. Yes, you can go to actual Europe cheaper than fake Europe and Epcot. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, you could, you know, yeah, there's a lot of things you can do with it. You can go to a local theme park. and invest it. You could (laughs) put a new addition on your house. You could, yeah. A lot of people, either it's a family tradition or it's a a once-in-a-lifetime thing and it's something that's really important to them. A lot of people grew up not getting to go and they didn't have much money and it's really important for them to go. And I'm not going to fault anyone for wanting to take that trip. But watch for deals. Disney offers deals. You can get 30% off. Sometimes you get free dining. There's all kinds of things if you keep your eyes open. Um, If you work with a Disney travel agent, it doesn't cost you any extra money and they can be watching for things. And if something comes up that's a better deal, they can cancel your other reservation and get you the new one with a lot with a lower price so if you're wanting to go these are just some hints but yes it's, it's not for poor people in quotes not for the not for the faint of heart it never really has been but it's definitely a oh. lot less and it's uh, a it's an exercise in logistics i'm telling you right now disneyland it was totally when i was a kid i mean i understand his sticker shot because we used to go and it was like 25 bucks a person to get in and we would just stay with relatives in, that lived in the OC, and then we would just drive over to Disneyland, go for the day, and it was. Oh, I just saw yeah. something that was Beverly Hills Cop, and he went to Disneyland or whatever, and he asked for the price. It said thirty five dollars. Like thirty five dollars in today's money, it's like eighty bucks. Yeah, we used to get well. We used to get cheaper because we had. Um, I forget they had like coupon books or something. Probably, I know, but, but I'm just saying though, it's yeah. like it, the inflation far yeah. as outpaced the inflation. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, but there are ways. I mean, it's totally doable. It's just that. You Selling could have Oregon, to... start an OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah, feet pics. Feet you know, pics. How to paint your nails cute for Mickey. Oh my God. Anyway. Oh my God. Okay, let's let's wrap it up. This yes. is going long. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.